explaining the breakup of Yugoslavia. In the year 1980, Joseph Tito died, a man who had kept Yugoslavia together since World War II. Around the same time Yugoslavia's economy went down, unemployment went up, and the Communist Party was decentralized. Along with this, nationalism in many parts of Yugoslavia went up. All around Yugoslavia, unrest grew for greater autonomy, especially in the Serbian autonomous state of Kosovo. Protests eventually began all around Yugoslavia in an attempt to unite Serbia and remove any ineffective leaders. Eventually, the anti-bureaucratic revolution helped put Slobodan Milosevic in power inside of Serbia. Tensions grew as Milosevic and his allies put sanctions on Slovenia after they had supported a workers' strike inside of Serbia. This ended in Slovenia leaving the Congress of the League of Communists, officially ending the Communist Party of Yugoslavia. The first multi-party elections were held inside of Yugoslavia, and a lot of independence parties sprouted up all over it. Eventually, due to rising tensions, Slovenia and Croatia resigned from Yugoslavia, gaining their independence. This started a war between the three nations. Croatia was annexed back into Yugoslavia, and Slovenia was allowed to leave. Eventually, Serbs in Croatia rose up and created their own republic, but a UN ceasefire was called, stopping the war. During that crisis, North Macedonia was allowed to peacefully leave Yugoslavia. Bosnia would eventually try leaving Yugoslavia, but violence erupted when Serbians inside of Bosnia declared their own independence. During the duration of this war, the Bosnians would lose much of their land, but would be able to keep control of their capital, Sarajevo. Croatia, who was also at war with Bosnia, was eventually pressured into declaring war on the Serbian republics and making peace with Bosnia by the UN. With the help of UN airstrikes, the Serbian republics inside of Bosnia and Croatia were eventually annexed back into both of them. After this, Croatia and Bosnia finally left Yugoslavia. In 2006, a referendum was held and Montenegro left Yugoslavia. This left only Serbia. In conclusion, the breakup of Yugoslavia was a hard-fought process, but eventually happened. Thank you for watching this video on the breakup of Yugoslavia.